We begin a new series this week called Mapping Main Street. Back in May, producers Kara Oler and Ann Hepperman, along with economist James Burns and media artist Jesse Shapins, packed into a 1996 Subaru station wagon, began a 12,000-mile journey across the country. Along the way, they stopped at hundreds of streets, named Main Street, collecting stories and taking photos. Over the next month, we'll hear stories from Main Streets across the country, starting today with Chattanooga, Tennessee. Now, a small portion of Chattanooga's Main Street has been revitalized with galleries, upscale restaurants, fancy sandwich shops. But some of the Main Street there remains a prostitution strip. Brother Ron Fender is a monk with the Brotherhood of St. Gregory. He works with the homeless at the Chattanooga Community Kitchen, just a few blocks from Main Street. Today, he's our guide down Chattanooga's Main Street. Now, we warn, some of the story may be objectionable to listeners. Every city has its image of its own Main Street. Main Street is clean. Uh, You know, there are flags flying, and there's an ice cream vendor on the corner, and all. we have that image of what Main Street in America should be like. But every now and then that big postcard of provinciality and conservatism gets a crack in it because the underbelly belches up. Hi, I'd like to report a prostitute, please. And Main Street cuts right through all of that. Uh, She's on the corner of South Hawthorne and East Main. First thing this morning, I called the cops. Well, third conversation I had today, aside from saying good morning to my wife, was calling the police and saying, I'd like to report two prostitutes that were walking right down my street. She's a black female, probably about, I don't know, five foot one. I'm hoping you'll get a chance to talk to my friends, uh, Jared and Jennifer Barnes. I'm Jared. I'm I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm a block away from East Main Street. They have bought an old house just off of Main Street. She's right across the street from Hawthorne and Main Grocery Store. And they're involved in this sort of campaign to clean up prostitution on Main Street. Because I've seen her several times in the neighborhood, and I call quite frequently. So every time they see a prostitute working... They call the police. All right, thank you very much. All right, bye. Now that it's gotten warm out, they are um, very easy to spot. They're out in droves. I'm Jennifer. I'm Jared's lovely wife. Wait, just keep going straight. There's some. Um, I guess it was about two and a half years after we moved into the neighborhood that I was harassed in my front yard. I was watering the plants, and there was a black avalanche that was circling the block. Well, sure enough, he finally slows down and kind of motions down towards his lap and kind of nods his head at me like, okay, come on, are you interested? And I'm in my front yard. I don't know if this guy's going to get out of his, you know, truck or anything like that. And um, that's what scared me. Is that an officer right there? Yes. Yeah, it's a police officer. Girl. They've got her. That is a busted prostitute. Justice has been served. When you see them get busted, you know that you're doing something good for the neighborhood and for Main Street. It's awesome. In Chattanooga, we have this underbelly, but we don't talk about it. So you can walk down Main Street, and you don't know that just over there there's prostitutes, or just over there there's a camp where people sleep in the woods at night. People drive down Main Street and keep their eyes straight ahead. You don't see what's on either side. Tammy, I need your assistance, please. Baby, where's the cheese at? I've known Ernest and Tammy now for seven years. I met them at the Chattanooga Community Kitchen. We're just having a homeless cookout. Homeless cookout. If somebody walks out here hungry, it's their fault. They lived for a long time in a camp. We was on the docks over here first. 35 to 40 people. We had a killer ass bed. We made it out of pallets. They've been together a long time. Slept under bridges, uh, you name it. Abandoned houses. We've been through hell. That's a rare thing on the street. Couples have a hard time staying together on the street. I met Tammy. When I was prostituting. And... uh, (laughs) Do you want me to say what? Uh, okay. I needed a lady companion for the evening. I stopped at a friend of mine's house named James. I said, man, I said, uh, is, there, is there any girls around here? He said, yeah, yeah, I know where one is. And he went and got her, and she'd come in. And the first thing I spotted about her that just totally attracted me to her is her gap in her teeth. 
All my sisters and brothers have gaps, but I don't. I've talked to him about about my past, but you know, just out of the blue, first night I met him. And she just kept saying, "Um, well, we're going to take care of businesses, you know, uh, when it's right." Yeah, that's when I fell in love with him. I was used to a man uh, having to give him something when he said he didn't want no money, he didn't want no sex. I was like, "Wow." <sighs> I love Ernest and Tammy. They work hard every day here in the community kitchen, but they're not being paid. Whatever they need, we, we try to help. Uh, these are people that I, I'm honored to call my friends, and yet I also have to watch them at the end of the day knowing that they're going to have a long night of doing whatever it is they do and hoping that tomorrow morning they're not in the hospital or they're not in jail, or they're not beaten up. Um, this is a, a probably kind of embarrassing moment. I'm kind of going through something. I'm ashamed of it, but it don't change it. I'm, I'm a drug addict. I'm going on a drug run. Honesty is, you know, what y'all looking for in this, right? <clears throat> But I'm uh, going, I'll be six minutes. Okay. Time me. I've seen him go through a lot of hard times. Ernest went to jail. I know that Tammy has worked the street. I know that she worked Main Street. I hope she'll never have to do that again. I've never had a job down here. On job I've ever knew was walking. Okay, yeah, you've been taking left, and this is Main Street. I lived in Alabama. That's where I'm from. And I didn't know what prostitution was or what crack was until I moved to Chattanooga. This is where the girl starts walking. <laughs> the worst part. There's one right there. <laughs> I was really embarrassed about myself for doing it. There's another one. I know her. I smoked crack just to deal with what I did, just to get my mind off of it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I pretty much got out of these because the last one I was in, he took me in the woods and he grabbed me by my hair and head. He didn't pay me. I, I just cried. I just thought uh, that night, you know, I was going to die. And then he just, like, made me get in the van and he dropped me off like it wasn't nothing. And what was bad, he had his, his uh, 13-year-old child was in the back seat asleep. I didn't know the child was back there until I got in the car. And it, I, that scared me enough to just quit. I, I, I wasn't out there no more. This Main Street is the heart of darkness in the city, I think. It's where so much goes on and so much has happened. And we can't put up pretty new buildings and gloss over it. It's still there. It's, it will always be there, I think. I love the neighborhood. That's why we need to keep making Main Street a little bit better down this direction, and that way we can stay in the neighborhood. We have hope. We have these places that we always go to, that we always return to, and Main Street here in Chattanooga is one of those places that people will come back to for whatever reasons they have. If we're broke, it crosses my mind. Main Street, but that scares me. <laughs>